everyone. So in this video, we will see uh, how to hedge uh, a particular set only for the overnight position. So what we will do is we will basically uh, take uh, the hedging position only at the time of the end end time of the market, like uh, near near three fifteen p.m. or so, and we will square off the position uh, on the very next day. Only the hedge hedges that we buy at the end of the day will be squared off early next uh, next morning. So we will see how to do that. So for that, as you can see, this is the strategy that I have created. So uh, what we did was yesterday, so on 30th May at 9.25 p.m., 9.25 a.m., we took this entry in the 36100 straddle, all right? So 36100 call option. Uh, this was just for a uh, dummy purpose. So that's the reason I've taken monthly entry, monthly uh, stock option as the monthly uh, index option as the as the as the instrument. So it was uh, sold at around 9.30 rupees uh, at uh, 9.25 a.m. Similarly, at the same time at 9.25, even the put was sold since it was a straddle, right? So uh, it was also sold at around 9.43. And what we did was, as you can see over here, about 500 strikes away, we bought a hedge, but we bought it on, so the entry was on 30th May, right? 30th May, uh, 9.25 AM. And on 30th May at 3.15 PM, the first entry was done. And it was around uh, uh, in this particular call option of 36,600. That is 500 strikes away at 592. And we exited that particular strike on the very next day at 9.20 AM. So only the hedges were squared off. The, uh, the shorted position is still ongoing, right? And then again today, that is 31st of May, we again entered into this particular uh, hedge at around 3.15 uh, 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 PM, all right? So similarly, on the put side also, we bought this hedge uh, at around 804 on uh, on 30th of May. And again, uh, we squared it off at around, uh, uh, again on 31st May, that is today morning at uh, 859 rupees. And again, we bought it today evening at uh, 992 rupees. So we will see the construction of this particular strategy uh, by going to the edit page. So as you can see over here, it's simple. Uh, entry condition that the time should be between for the uh, short straddle part the time we want to be between 9 25 uh, 3 pm and the net quantity of the first leg that is call option and uh, put option uh, 112 should be zero so that is the reason why this uh, 111 leg that is call option and 112 leg that is put option should be zero then only it should take entry in this particular short position that is atm call and atm put which was 3600 uh, 36100 as we saw over here so this is the one call and the put that we were that we sold yesterday. All right. After that, uh, 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 the ex the second set has basically the hedges. So over here, what we are doing is through this strike FX, we are buying uh, this particular call option uh, that is around 500 strike away from the strike that has been sold. So from 36100, 500 strike away is basically 36600. So that is the uh, call option that we uh, bought for the hedge. This is the one, and Similarly, this is the buy entry, right? So similarly, on the put side, we uh, basically bought the the hedge that is around 500 points away from the put strike. That is 112. That is basically from 36100 put, 500 strike away put is basically 35600 put. All right. So that is the reason why we bought this particular uh, hedges. And the way we constructed it is this. So over here, if we go and uh, we have put a simple exit condition for that. So the entry condition was basically for the second set that is basically uh, the hedges is, is that it should enter only when it is 3.15 p.m. and between 3.15 and 3.20 p.m. So that is the time entry and exit so it should not enter any time earlier or after this and uh, the net quantity of 211 and 212 that is basically this call option and this put option should not have already been traded. So only when there is net quantity zero and the time is between 15, 15 uh, p.m. to 15, 20 p.m. Then only this particular uh, transaction will take place. All right, this hedges will be bought and the hedges will be exited through exit condition through at uh, 9.20 a.m. and uh, between 9.25 uh, a.m. All right, so the exit will happen only between this time. So as you can see, this is the reason why this is automatically what it is doing is on the first, that is 30th of May, it automatically first of all took entry at 3.15 p.m. That is the hedges were bought. It exited the very next morning at around 9.20 a.m. All right, again on 31st May at 3.15 p.m. Since that is the entry condition, that is the reason why it has taken the trade. It has bought the hedge. And again, tomorrow morning, that is the 1st of, uh, uh, 1st of June, 
it will automatically again square off and this cycle will continue on a daily basis so that is how you add a hedge uh, for uh, on just for the overnight purpose by uh, just including one extra set so as you can see the straddle main straddle is in the first set and we have added the hedges only in the second set so this is how you can create an extra additional hedge set just to buy uh, the hedge and then you can square it off on the next day through that set exit so this cycle will keep on continuing for your strategy so that is uh, that is the thing that we wanted to discuss in this video uh, we will be adding more and more videos on certain uh, such concepts and uh, i'm sure that it will be helpful for you thank you very much everyone yeah goodbye